Hi everyone, my name is Jake, and today we are returning to the war zone to talk about snow level music. A few months ago, I made a video about my absolute burning hatred for sleigh bells in winter levels, and there were a lot of people saying I should have explored alternatives to sleigh bells, and also people sharing snow music that didn't use sleigh bells. So, let's jump into this subject again to explore some alternatives to the cliché. As a heads up, I'm not looking at soundtracks that take place entirely in snowy areas like Skyrim or Snowboard Kids. It's all about those token snow levels in an otherwise unsnowy game. First off, I think Fendrana Drifts from Metroid Prime was probably the most shared track in the previous video. I'm familiar with the song, I have played Prime, but it didn't cross my mind at the time because I had my sights on games that had really gratuitously themed levels. You know, snow levels, desert levels, jungle levels, etc. Now Prime kind of has that. There's a jungle, a desert, lava, and snow area but they all feel cohesive. It's all still alien and mysterious, so the music doesn't drastically change from area to area. With that being said, Fendrana Drifts fits into a broad category that we'll see a lot today. A blistering chill. Fendrana Drifts isn't supposed to be Christmassy or cheery, it's a cold, desolate place. The music is evoking that harsh atmosphere, and it does a great job while still feeling alien through using its phasing pads and whistly synth lead. And, funny enough, Fendrana Drifts does have sleigh bells, so, oops. Another popular suggestion was Snow Peak and Snow Peak Ruins from Twilight Princess. I'm also familiar with these, and it totally fits into that blistering chill category. An effective way to create chilly sounds is by using high combinations of notes, omitting bass notes and frequencies, and then piling on the echo, delay, and reverb. Snow Peak has that down pat. Snow Peak Ruins feels a little less chilly, aiming for a more mysterious and curious vibe. Makes sense, it's a dungeon after all. But it still feels cold with its combination of metallic percussion and mix of breathy and crystal synths. Metallic percussion, like glockenspiel, and glassy crystal synths are definitely two of the more common instruments for evoking cold, but they're a lot less one-dimensional than sleigh bells, so I've never really had a problem with them. We're going to see them a lot today as well. In a similar vein, one that really caught my ear was Snowy Valak Mountain from Xenoblade Chronicles. It uses a purely orchestral instrumentation to create this majestic snowscape, using the technique of emitting bass instruments, except for some pizzicato bass strings which give a nice low support without sacrificing the chilly atmosphere. Pizzicato strings, which is when they pluck the strings of the instrument, is another common technique that I've found. It gives it sort of this bouncy vibe. The metallic percussion also shows up for a bit, but the track overall is quite lovely. The night version of Valak Mountain is also really interesting, using mostly a piano and drum kit with reverb, but despite emitting a lot of bass instruments, it doesn't really sound that snowy to me. And this is one issue that can come up when we talk about being creative with soundtrack music. At what point does the music go from being unique and original to missing the point of the scene? I don't think Valak Mountain Night goes too far away from the snowy mountain, but if I heard it by itself with no context of the in-game area, I might interpret it as something totally different. On that note, let's talk about Sonic. First off, Sonic Adventure's Be Cool, Be Wild, and Be Groovy <laughs> what a name, definitely does not sound like snow, despite it being in a snow level. I think that's because it's not a snow song. It's a snowboarding song, which is super extreme and radical, dude. But Sonic 3's Ice Cap Zone was one of the most suggested tracks. And yeah, it definitely doesn't fall into the sleigh bell trap. It doesn't really even use any of the other techniques like omitting bass, using echoes, or using glassy or metallic instruments, besides maybe that one that goes dit 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 dit. This track is very original for a snow level, but I think it goes so far in that it doesn't really sound snowy anymore. I think that this track could be used for a variety of levels, and it would still work. It's a good track, I have nothing against it. But it seems super flexible since it doesn't have any cold textures. If it was originally in another level, it probably would never be associated with cold or snow at all. This is the tough thing about being unique with themed levels. How do you tread that line between being creative and missing the feeling? 
It seems the Mega Man series walks that line pretty well. Freeze Man stage from Mega Man 7 is super upbeat, but uses bright icy chords and breathy melodies with plenty of reverb to give it a chilly vibe. Mega Man 8 also does a good job, though it takes a slightly different approach as the level is a snowy city. The percussion is much more industrial, and while the breathy icy pads are still there, they are a little bit less bright and shimmery. And trumpet is not usually something I associate with snow, but maybe that's just me. And for fun, let's listen to Iceman stage from Mega Man 1. While the NES's sound chip was super limited, they put a nice reverb on the main melody, and it stays nice and high to give that chilly vibe. Well done, Blue Boy! How about Snowman from Mother? <laughs> this one's funny, because in the original, it uses similar techniques to Iceman stage. The reverby melody, but going one step further and using one of the four channels to create an echo effect. The melody even has some holiday playfulness to it. Pretty clever, it's really nice. However, the same tune shows up in Mother 2, also called Snowman, and ha, the sleigh bells were added. And again in Mother 3, I guess they really wanted those in there, huh? Maybe it was written all along to have the holiday cheer, and so they wanted sleigh bells in the NES version, but they couldn't do it due to the technology, who knows? Personally, I think the version from Mother 1 is my favorite. Ah, Snowy from Undertale, another highly suggested track. Now, when you listen to this one right after Snowman, you can definitely hear the influence that it had on Toby. The chord structure is similar, and the melodies both have this playful bounce to them with occasional trills. Snowy definitely fits those chilly techniques with plenty of reverb and no bass instruments. And an overall sparse texture, there's not a whole lot going on. It doesn't have the same holiday cheer as Snowden, but that's fine because this is more of an exploration through a chilly wonderland. Another popular suggestion was Pac-Man World 2? I didn't even know this game existed. There's a track called Ice River Run, and yeah, it doesn't use sleigh bells, or any of the other cool techniques for that matter. It's just adventurous orchestral music. I think this falls into that category that Ice Cap's in. Sorry. Most of the tracks we've listened to today don't really have any holiday cheer. The root of the sleigh bell problem is that the bells are associated with Santa's sleigh. The bells represent Christmas, and, at least in the Western world, Christmas is usually associated with snow. It makes sense a harsh cold wouldn't need bells because it wouldn't need holiday cheer. But what about tracks that attempt to capture that cheer? I'd say Snowman has a little bit of cheer in it, which is probably why they added sleigh bells once the technology could handle it. But where is the Christmas songs without any sleigh bells? I can't find any. Now, I don't think I could have ever gone through all the suggestions you all gave. Your response was fantastic to that last video, so thank you. And for future videos about other cliches in video game music, I'll talk about how much I hate them and potential alternatives. I only think it's fair, as much as it's fun to just complain for a bit. Oh, your next desert levels. If you have any desert music you'd like on the chopping block, let me know in the comments. I'd like to thank my patrons for their support. We've been having a great time with hanging out in the Discord server. And you can come join us too. Check the description for a link. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!